Hey, check this out, man. It's your boy, Young Dro. Big Keith Promotion present, man. You dig? Pull up on me Saturday, Easter weekend. We're going to have a jump off citywide polo bash. You dig what I'm saying? Doors open at 10 p.m. We're going to be at the Excitement Lounge, man. You dig? Pull up on my people. What's happening, everybody? Of course, it's your host, Brent Young, coming straight out of them South Memphis slums, and you are watching the most award-winning independent talk show in the whole South, none other than Brink TV. Now, do not just show TV set. We got a brand new face kicking in with us tonight on the Icy White Couch, and you know I did say award-winning. Hey, man, I'm in good company tonight because I'm joined by a fellow award winner. Where? What award show you might be wondering? We're talking about the 2023 Memphis Hip Hop Awards Promoter of the Year. My guy, Big Keith, how you doing? What's going on, man? How you doing? Hey, I'm doing amazing. First and foremost, I got to say thank you for being a guest on the show. It means a lot to have you kicking in with us tonight, man. I appreciate you having me, man. No doubt. Now, we got plenty to talk about because, as I said in his introduction, he is the 2023 Memphis Hip Hop Awards Promoter of the Year. Hey, that ain't nothing to be taken lightly. You know what I'm saying? We yeah, talking uh, about event promoter in the city of Memphis, a city that's known for partying, yes. known for clubbing, yes. club hopping, <laughs> yes. all of that bottle popping. Yeah, this guy right here, if we talking about number one. So let's go ahead and get into you, man. First and foremost, man, where you from exactly? North Memphis, man. I'm from North Memphis. Okay. Hey, definitely shout out to everybody out there shout in out that North. North. <laughs> that North, you know what I'm North, saying? North. All right, so of course, everybody got their own story, man. What was it like growing up in North Memphis for you? Uh, it was, it was, I mean, it was, it wasn't hard. Yeah. You no, know, I had a good family. Yeah. They raised me good. Good head on, everybody had good head on their shoulders. So yeah. Raised by really a house full of women, so. I you know, I had my daddy there too, you know. He, he taught me, taught me well. Yeah. Trained me right, for, uh, taught me right from wrong. I had to grow up, be a man. No so, doubt. Hey, yeah. It wasn't, it wasn't hard. Now, of course, I understand, man, you had them football aspirations, man. Yeah. That's what you wanted to be coming yeah, up, man. man. So yeah. well, you actually played football, right? Yeah, I started playing when I was actually about four years old. That's when I first started playing okay. football. So, and it's been my dream ever since then, play football. So. Got to know, man, who you team, man? Who you rocking with? Uh, I'm a Dallas Cowboy fan. Okay, man. one of them. Hey, it's okay. <laughs> you know, it's no problem. You know, hey, you know, it's all good. You know, y'all might do some. <laughs> Eventually, man. It was pretty close that last in, in the playoffs recently. Yeah. It was pretty close, but we getting there. Hey, we getting there. Get it together. But one thing that's dope though, it's actually a couple guys from Memphis on that team. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Shout out to yeah. them. Shout out you to know, them, my guy Shout Pollard, Pollard. You know, yeah. and uh, Bohannon. Yeah, Shout you know, out to y'all guys. It's man. happening. It's happening. All right, so let's go ahead transition, man. How did you actually get into the event game, man? You a promoter? Like, how did that come about? Uh, actually, I first started off as security. Okay. <laughs> hey. Okay, I got yeah, you. started doing security at yeah. the club. So, uh, I mean, ain't like you're a little dude. Yeah, I, 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 you, yeah. trust me, I, yeah. I used to be bigger than this. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, okay. You know, weight loss. Yeah, I got you. you. Know, change over. Yeah. So, um, first did security and just really wanted to get a different feel or something. Okay. I've been actually, since high school, I was already, already passing out flyers, helping uh, Sean Rumbin, Greek, uh Sean Rumbin. Sean Gunn, Rico Owens, yeah. helping them pass out the high school flyers for mm -hmm. their events too. So they kind of gave me a light on, you know what I'm saying, to step in another field, do yeah. something else, party, have a good time, work at the same time too. Right, yeah. So that was my thing about that. Definitely got to say a shout out to them guys, man. All three of them, we talking about OG veterans in this Memphis, Memphis party promotion field, man. Sean Gunn, uh, Sean Rumby. Uh, Rico Owens, Rico, man. One yeah. thing I got to say about Rico Owens, and a lot of people might not know this, I graduated, well, if I see it, y'all know how old I am. <laughs> but shortly after I graduated high school, I was actually one of his uh, celebrity guest judges at his citywide talent show back yeah. in the day when he yeah. used to do yeah. them. So, uh -huh. like I say, we go back, you know what I'm saying? See, go I used back. to be in there permed out. Yeah. Them girls thought I was in B2K <laughs> or something. I'm like, nah, you know, I'm brink, but yeah. hey, what's up, what's you know? Up? But, <laughs> hey, man, it was the good old days. So, you actually, like you said, man, started out doing security. Mm -hmm. Of course, that means that you actually know if events from several sides several because sides. you actually used to go to a lot of parties and clubs right, as well, right, man. Let's right, talk about right. some of the clubs you used to frequent back in the day, man. Uh, back in the day, it was Club Envy. Yeah, man. You know, yeah, I know Catchy Jack. Or yeah. Some of y'all might know the older folks, Club No Name. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, 
Yeah, them clubs. Uh, a few North Memphis club was club he's Yeah, that was some of y'all for me. Did you ever hit? I think what was that club called? The Boss out there. Yes, yeah, I man. actually, yeah. I actually did a couple of events uh, at that. Yeah, at, at that uh, venue before. before yeah. they tore it down. So, yeah, yeah. It was a that was a nice kicking spot too. To yeah, kick it and close friends and yeah. all that too. So. Yeah, we're familiar over there. Man, I know you had to go to Fire and Ice, man. Oh, yeah. yeah. Fire and Ice, uh, Visions, uh, Level 2. Yeah, man. Uh, uh, it was quite a few. Was, uh, I can't think of the night. It was downtown. Uh, I'll tell you one thing about Level 2, you know, why you're thinking about it. Man, I used to be so nervous because the floor the used floor, to be bouncing, bro. That what got me. I thought Man. my first night in yeah. there, I really thought the floor was going to fall in. I thought it was going to collapse. So I really left. Them but. folks told, they was like, nah, they got springs in the floor. I'm the, like, springs <laughs> in the floor? How, how they work? Like, who I, did it? You know? Yeah, I was like, wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that was one of my... I, I, when I heard about the springs in the floor, I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. So the floor just bouncing. Like, right, oh. right. This <laughs> so is normal. Okay. This is normal. So I actually had to go back and... Get the feel for yeah. it. So, <laughs> yeah. all night. So. Yeah. Man, just imagine being in there while, like, somebody like 3 Six Mafia is performing, man. Everybody jumping, everybody crunk. Like, we had some amazing nights at places like uh, Level 2. Uh, I know another spot, Silver Spoon. Silver that was Spoon. another one we used yeah, to hit back yeah, in the day. Yeah, yeah. Like, we probably ran into each other and didn't even know. Didn't know it. Probably did, man. <laughs> All real. right, so let's go ahead and transition, man, about some of the events that you put on. Mm-hmm. Like, do you remember your very first event? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know it probably was a minute ago, but you even remember it? The very first event, like, when I first actually threw a party was my 18th birthday. Okay. But my actually first event as an adult was a Valentine's event. Okay. And it was on a Tuesday. So I did that. Did pretty good that night. And so I just kind of stuck with them Tuesday night. Yeah. And because that was a good feel. But even though it was during the week. Yeah. Just did. I just stuck with it. And that's one thing that I learned about people. Like, it's a work night, you know. Right. Like, but people still, still want to party. They still man. want to have yeah. a good time, you know. Time. And then some people, like, that's their Friday. You right. know, depending on whatever schedule they got, like, Tuesday night might mm-hmm. be their Friday, so right, they get right, to right. go out. And, of course, you mean, the thing about your parties, you like to offer something different than other parties. Mm-hmm. What about your parties, like, stand out? What about your events stand out from other events that people might go to? It's, the, it's just a good vibe. Good vibe, you know, good DJ, good music, good drinks. I make my own drinks. So oh, cool, yeah. yeah. They love my drinks, so yeah. I, I make my own drinks and just make sure everybody good, make sure everybody safe. You know what I'm saying? I walk around the club, make sure everybody good. Yeah. So it's it really just the whole vibe. Yeah. Because they know I zero tolerance on any negativity. Yeah, so. yeah. So we talking about amazing customer service. That's what you would get at a Big Keith Promotions yes, event. Yes. So, of course, you know, we talking about, you know, the vibes and a lot of nice things. You know, of course, you know, it's not really easy. You know, yeah, they might yeah. see it and mm. see the party and see the success, but mm. they might think, man, this is easy. I can do it. But let's go through the day-to-day operations mm. of a club promoter because it's not It's yeah, not easy. Yeah, it ain't easy. Yeah. It ain't easy because, for one thing, you got to – you gotta promote. You gotta promote yourself. Yeah, you got to. Cause I mean, a lot of people might not know who you is and don't come to your events. Right. Basically, really how I see it in Memphis, like a lot of people are based off popularity. Yeah. Stuff like that. So you really, as a promoter, you gotta push your brand, push your name out there. Yeah. Make sure your events are good. No, no problems. Make sure you have good security. Make sure you have a good DJ, and whoever you booking or your. Uh, with the talent that night, mm-hmm. just try to make sure it's up the party, yeah. not, not the crowd run away. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, hey, but it's all about just just having the good vibe in your event. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's all uh, because that good vibe it'll make people want to come back. Yeah, one thing that I like about you know what you got going on, you actually book local talent. Yes. For your events as well, mm-hmm. I think that's admirable because you're not just focused on the big big names. You mm-hmm. want to provide a, a venue or a place for the indie artists to come and right. you know show what they can do, show right. what they've been you know mm-hmm. practicing on and working on and actually doing it showcases and all of that. 
How important is that for you to be able to give back to indie artists, local artists? It's it's important to me because yeah. you never know one day who might make it, who might be signed. It might be the biggest celebrity of all. You know what I'm saying? So I I don't have a problem with giving chances. Yeah, you know what I'm saying because somebody gave me a chance. Right to to show my talent is being a promoter. Yeah, so I don't take chances from nobody. So I'd be glad that they give you a chance, let you show your talent. Yeah, because you never know who might who might be at these event or when we recording or going live now, who who might be watching. Right, you're right, and then you never know what fans you might be able to gather, gather from right. that event. Like I say, right. make sure y'all see y'all social media when you're on stage, because people like me, I'm checking that Instagram soon as you see <laughs> it, and I'm following or shooting you a message because mm-hmm. hey, I'm trying to find new talent mm-hmm. just like exactly. you are. So of course, with things like that, man, you talked about building a brand. Like what all goes into it? Because we were talking off camera, man. You told me about passing out flyers, and I'm like, man, you got to have people to pass them out with you. You got to have right, a team out a, there. You got to put out, yeah. you know, yeah. You got to have a strong. You got to have first. You got to have a strong mind. Yeah, strong team. Like, like. When you're doing these events, you got to put everything together. Yeah. Just can't put a party together and think it's going to do right. something. You got to actually detail it. Yeah. How you want this, how you want to decorate, what type of DJ you want. Can right. You, you want a DJ that can play both type of music, slow, old, young, new, all that. Security, you know, this got to be top priority. Right, right. Top, top, like top priority. Yeah. So that's your safety. Yep. So you got to make sure this on point. So, uh, it's just making sure that everything A1. Yeah. That's all because you want to, you know what I'm saying? This is your event. You want to make sure everything just strictly on point. Yeah. And I think it's incredible that you emphasize security because mm-hmm. that's pretty much like one of the key components in an event. Safety. You know, safety, guaranteeing, you know, safety inside of the club because understanding that outside of the club, mm-hmm. that's kind of like a whole different ball game. Right. And a lot of times people don't understand the difference between security and MPD. Right. Certain things security can't do. Right. You know, that's out of their out of jurisdiction. Exactly. You know, so exactly. that's for MPD to do. But right. on the inside of the club you providing a safe environment so definitely hats off to you for that let's go ahead and talk more about man because we was talking off camera man Mm -hmm. i I love to talk about the journey i love to talk about the story now one big part of everybody's journey is loss you know let's dive into like some of your biggest losses or maybe your biggest loss you know that you've experienced Mm -hmm. you know maybe it's financial loss or maybe you know just different things like that let's dive into it uh I done took, I mean, we didn't take, took plenty of losses. Yeah. Those losses just make me grind harder. Yeah. Go harder. So I just can't let one loss, two losses, three losses make me tap out. Right. So, I mean, you got to take losses to get your wins. Yeah. And understand, you know, it's a variety of losses out there. You know, sometimes it might be, you know, the club, you know, itself, the, right, venue, the, the itself, venue itself, you know, right, sometimes right. it might be issues with personnel, employees, you know, stuff like that. Right, but right. you do everything on your part to make sure that the event is a success so, so, and not right. just financially, but safe, oh, you know, yes. make sure everything is safe. Let's talk about some of your biggest events, man. What's some of the biggest parties you've thrown? Uh, man? The biggest parties I have thrown, uh, I did an event with K Stylist. Okay. That was that was that turned out pretty. We talking nice. about booty me down, yeah. yeah, man. I did. Matter of fact, it was a whole show. I did another show with uh, OG Boot Dirty, okay, STMG, uh, Mac E all in one night, okay. Wow. And so yeah, in one night, one night, wow. And so yeah, that turned out to be good. Yeah, good, yeah, uh, good, real good. So uh, and I did another show with uh, uh, Paper Out, okay, uh, Paper Out, uh, Woo, yeah. Uh, yeah, Snoop Bands, he definitely. Yeah, that was a show. Like I was kind of worried about. Yeah, bringing the South to the North. Oh man, yeah, I can like, understand. I was real worried about this show, that, that show, that event there. But it turned out to be one of my best show, my best shows. Yeah. So, heads out to Snoop Bands, man. Shout out to you. But yeah, that was that was a good show there. So of course we got to talk about Saturday, April eighth. Young Dro. Oh, yeah. I'm clean in the event. Hey, hey, you bringing Young Dro to the city, man? Young Dro coming to the city, man. man let's talk Easter about weekend, that, man. man. Let's Easter talk about weekend, that. Easter weekend, man. It's a big polo bash. We just, 
This is something I want to do different, to bring a different vibe, man. Yeah. And, I, and I, when I think, when I thought about the polo bass, I'm like, who I can get? I said, Young Dro. Yeah. So and then uh, the song just playing in my head. So yeah. Like, we gonna just see what's up with that, and I went for it, and then hey, it's a green light. Yeah. So. It's just, it's official. Hey, we'll be here in the city, man. Hey, so, hey. Yeah, y'all make sure y'all tap in. Like, how could the people get tickets and all of that? Like, if they trying to get, like, VIP and all of that, like, what they got to do? They can contact me on uh, Facebook at uh, Keith Houston Jr. Or um, call my, my cell, 901-801-2002. Uh, my Instagram, nine, uh, Big Keith 901 hit me, on, hit me up on those, inbox me early. Uh, early bird tickets are on sale for both events now, so you can get those now. So. Yeah. So you recently actually had your six year anniversary event recently, right? Mm -hmm. All yeah. right. So we talking about you had Eddie Valero at the event, right? March twenty fifth. Man, shout out to my guy Eddie Valero, yes, yes, man. Yes, so yes, how did yes. things go with that event, man? Crazy. It was a movie. Crazy. It man. was a Crazy, movie. Crazy, man. That's another thing, bringing another part of town to the north side. Because, yeah. you know, Memphis yeah. ain't too, you know what I'm saying, familiar with mixing this side, this part of the town. So that's my main thing. I'm trying to just, bro, I want to bring the city together. Man. Yeah. Because Memphis has been through a lot. Like, just we all need to come together as one. Yeah. I mean, I know people have their differences, but, you know, Memphis just itself. Yeah. We even took so many losses, and it just, it, I ain't going to say it's a bad vibe. In the city, but it's a weird vibe to some people, and I just want to make it a positive vibe where we all can come together, we can party together, we ain't yeah. got to worry about nothing. You know what I'm saying? No fights, no nothing, no shoes or nothing like that. Yeah, just just, just have a, have a party together, just have fun, Aye, man. We trying to turn up together. For real. <laughs> One city, man. Hey, look, we could take how y'all throw up East Side. Hey, how y'all throw up North Memphis? How y'all throw up South Memphis? You know what I'm saying? How y'all throw up the Haven? How y'all throw up the man? Hey, man, we can all just be in that zone throwing up that hey, M. The you M. Hear me? That's M what it's all about, man. For real, man. All right, so. Off camera, we talked about it, and I don't know if you want to talk about it that much on camera, mm -hmm. but you said you actually aspire to have your own club one day. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, man. Yes, yes. One day. One coming day. soon. It's coming. Hey, man. It's coming. I look forward it's to coming, that, man. man. It's coming. Because, obviously, as a promoter, you know, you have to go to different clubs and right. different venues, and ain't nothing like your own, man. Ain't nothing like your own. Yeah, man. So, let's go ahead and talk about, man, you got a Tuesday night popping, you got a Thursday night popping, you got yeah. a Saturday night. Go ahead and run all them down, man. Tuesday nights bossed up, too. Is at the excitement lounge 31 8 31 88 north Watkins. my thursday nights given to them thursdays at james lounge 31 72 summer avenue and my saturday's night pull up on me saturdays at the excitement lounge 31 88 north Watkins. man each and every saturday each and every thursday each and every tuesday Pull up on me. Hey, my guy is definitely doing big, amazing things he already ran this social media run it for him one more time facebook Facebook is Keith Houston Jr. Instagram is Big Keith 901. Or y'all can just contact my cell, 901 801 2002. Hey, so this is my favorite part on the show. On Bring TV, we got two cameras. This camera over here, this mm -hmm. is your camera. I need you to tell the people why they should tap in on Tuesday, why they should follow up in there on Thursday, why they should be there on Saturday, and why they should be there to see young Dro April 8th go. Hey, man, y'all want to party, have a good time, turn up, you want to live life. Come party with your boy, man. Big Key Promotions. You're going to have the best time of your life. And it ain't just Big Key Promotions. It's Promoter of the Year. Hey, Promoter of the Year, showing man. the trophy, man. Hey, look. Award winning. Like you I see say. It, man. Award winning, man. Hey, 2023 Memphis Hip Hop Awards Promoter of the Year. Big yes, Key sir. Promotions. Hey, it's been amazing having you on the show, my brother. Appreciate I appreciate you, coming, you man. I appreciate you, man. No doubt. With that being said, now back to more Brink TV. Hey. Hey, check this out, man. It's your boy, Young Dro. Big Keep Promotion Present, man. You dig? Pull up on me Saturday, Easter weekend. We're going to have a jump off citywide polo bash. You dig what I'm saying? Doors open at 10 p.m. We're going to be at the Excitement Lounge, man. You dig? Pull up on my people.